Hi, I'm Pam Turner and I'm the inventor of the spiral eye side threading needle. And this is a giant version of my needle. I take it to the shows like the state fairs and sewing expos and things so people can actually see the eye of the needle. But I make them in general size needles. Now, with the giant version you can actually see the mechanism of what's going on. So when you're threading my needle, instead of trying to get a limp piece of thread through a hole you can't see anymore, you don't have to even look at it. You drape the thread over the center of the needle where it's thin, the diameter is as small as it is, and it gets generally wider as it goes up. So by making it snug, I'll feel as it gets closer to the eye, the opening. When I feel it go in the slot, I go down and back, and then it's locked into the eye. I think of it as drawing the letter Z. Now that works slick for threading it, but the whole geometry, the point of the geometry that's really the key to the success of the needle, is that not only do I have to be able to get this thread to go in easily, I have to make sure the thread of the material you're sewing in doesn't go through easily too. So it took a lot of uh, trial and error to figure out exactly how we had to have it all created to make that happen. But just like when I'm sewing it or threading it, I'm, if I was sewing it, the material that I'm sewing it with would stretch as it gets closer and closer to the eye but you're continuing moving the needle this way and it continues past. So it doesn't catch on the material that you're sewing on. However, when you want to thread it, it goes in, back, and forth. Simple. The small needles work exactly the same. Now the giant needle is uh, available to the first person that donates $10,000. It's a very special needle to me and it's a hard thing to give up, but I need this project to go forward and I thought it was the most valuable thing I could offer. So thank you for your time and I look forward to hearing from you.